The federal government has been advised to provide adequate education for Nigerians and give each region what they deserve by merit if it wants to end the spate of insecurity. Retired professor of Islamic studies, Murtala Bidmos, gave this chart at Afan Special Symposium with the theme, Muhammad, the mercy to mankind. Gathered at this hall are Muslim faithful who came to celebrate the Holy Prophet Muhammad and mankind as he had preached. Worried about the essence of humanity, speaker after speaker, brought their mind on some challenges faced in the nation. Professor of Islamic studies and the convener alike were unanimous in their call for religious tolerance and youth education. But those two things are very important. Respect for time and exchange mutual trust. If Boko Haram people or bandits or Fulani, they want to recruit one million people today, they will get. From who? From the youth who are roaming the streets, who have no education, who have no hope, who have no future. He, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, has described him as mercy to mankind, not just mercy to the Muslims. If you follow his teachings, there won't be cheating, there won't be injustice. So uh, he preaches religious tolerance and that is why we are calling people to come for this program. The spelling believes that religion is responsible for the rise of banditry and other forms of insecurity. Other speakers said Islam only preaches humanity and love. They also pointed the government in the right direction to go. One of the governors had said that uh, you don't negotiate with uh, bandits and that is, the, that is the stand of Islam. Unfortunately, I have read uh, a lot of articles in the past um, trying to blame religion for the problems that um, we, we, we are having. Okay, the problem we are having has always been in existence before religion. Uh, what religion has come to do is to modify our character and then uh, try to um, uh, manage the situation that we find ourselves. Well, religion has never been an issue, and it is not an issue. What is the issue is humanity, living together in peace. For those of us who might be are in our 50s, when we were young, very young, in this Lagos state, there is this camaraderie between the Muslims and the Christians. If we are going to come up with solutions, we must come up with a communal approach to solving Nigeria's problem. First of all, we need to identify the priority needs of people and give it to them. Education is a priority need that must be given to every Nigerian, irrespective of, irrespective of religion, ethnicity, or creed. The general consensus here is that if Nigerians live together and embrace one another, irrespective of religion, there will be peace in Nigeria. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.